Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasia, but you can also call me Tay, and welcome in. I'm so excited to have you here. Today I just felt like playing and I also felt like recording it live, so we're doing a let's play today. I had a lot of fun with my past couple let's plays and I'm working on an area that is quite small and I feel like it'd be perfect to record it in real time. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate though, before we get into all of it, if you could like and subscribe, I would love to have you guys join this community that we are building here. Now let's get started on this let's play. So I'm out here in the front of my island. This, these are a few builds that I've done. If you guys are interested in how I built these areas, I've done a speed build. They're on my channel and available, so you guys can check those out if you like. However, as you can tell from those videos, I have updated some of the pathing. I added these stones in the front instead of the dirt just to break it up. And here's Silvana. <laughs> she has become my number one favorite. Look at her. <laughs> She's so cute. She's become my number one favorite on this island and I just love her. I feel like not enough people talk about Silvana. She's adorable. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, here's my entrance again. I've updated it quite a bit. I've added a few items and it looks much more overgrown, which I absolutely love. But today we are working on this transition from my house to this green patch. And I think we're also gonna work on this little section over here, which is the entrance to the secret garden. I'm so excited to finally start working on this area. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to take you along and show you what I'm doing. Uh, anyways, so I kind of built all this as you can see <laughs> already. I've taken the liberty to just put in all the trees and the, do the terraforming. It's not that much, so I feel like it just would have been a lot of work to do on a Let's Play. And so, you know, I'm just going to be decorating and adding pathing and I feel like that's the most fun part to watch. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. This honestly took me two hours to figure out all these trees, get them in the right heights, so it's probably best that I did that ahead of time. Um, yeah, and also I kind of, before I get started, I wanted to give you guys an update on my map to show you where we are. So here's my map and here is all of my villagers that I've gotten so far. We have Sherb and Maddie, Lily, Shep, Poppy, Flurry, Dottie, Silvana and Diana. I'm still on the fence about a few of them, like Diana, Poppy, and Flurry was a move-in. I found her on an island and I just think she's really cute, but she wasn't who I intended to be on this island, as well as Shep. But I kind of like them all together. I think they're really cute. These main five right here are definitely going to be staying, so yeah, um, still working on the villagers. I honestly like them all. I don't know if I'll end up changing them or not, but those are my villagers for now. And here's my map. As you can see, there's quite a bit of terraforming. I haven't torn down the cliffs in the very back yet. Those were there when I first started this island. Um, but I do intend to tear that down because I feel like it really limits me when there's already terraforming there. So I think I'm just going to tear it all down eventually. But we are here down in the front of the map. And like I mentioned in a few of my videos, I wanted the secret garden to be next to the grandmother's cottage house, which technically that's just my house. So I don't know. Maybe I'm playing the role of a grandma on this island. <laughs> but like I mentioned, I wanted the secret garden to be next to the grandmother's garden out front. So that's kind of the area that we're building in. I wasn't intending it to be like this whole terraformed area. I kind of just wanted a simple garden, but because this is so close to my beach and towards the front of the island, I kind of wanted to push you in towards the center of the island a little more by adding this bridge and here you're away from the beach and there's a bunch of trees surrounding the area. So I just think that's much better for what I'm going for. But with all that said, let's finally get started. Um, I'm really not sure how I want to go about making the garden yet. It's... I, I really have no ideas. However, I do know what I want to do with... Oh! Daisy May is here! Hello! I might actually need to get some turnips from her if I need to dig up any more trees. Um, 
but uh, she's just too cute. I love her. <laughs> um, he, what, what was I saying? Oh gosh, this is already so chaotic. I have a really good idea of what I want to do for the actual secret garden entrance. So I'm not sure if it's best to start with that or if I should start with the farm over here and try to make them mesh well together. I really don't know. I'm really going into this let's play unprepared. <laughs> okay, I think what's best, let me start in the middle. Let's start decorating this little transition spot. So I think I might just start off with adding the dirt pathing in here. I think it'll just be really nice and will show visitors where to go exactly. So let's get this down here. Also here are my, all my codes so far. Hopefully by the time this comes out I will have an updated board on my Pinterest of all these codes um, if you guys are interested in them. But I mean at the time I'm recording this I still don't have that up. so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I apologize about that. Okay, let's start with this path. Actually, let me do the center one first. I feel like starting with the center piece is always really helpful because then you can branch off from there. So, I'm gonna add the center here and kind of make it a little windy. I want you to sort of curve through here. I think I want this to be very skinny actually, so let's start adding the bottom pieces here. Hmm, that's a little too diagonal, I think. So let me kick that away. As much as I want this to be a very skinny road, I just don't think it's gonna turn out that way. My pathing always changes so much as I'm doing it, so if I'm being honest, there's a lot of editing that I do when it comes to my speed builds because I change up my path so much when I'm doing it because again I kind of I don't really wing my builds I usually have an, a pretty firm idea of how I want my builds to turn out but there is a lot of trial and error when I am building so you know I think everyone goes through that though I feel like we all struggle some at some point so you know it's all part of the process you got to trust the process <laughs> when it comes to building Oh, I did not mean to talk to you, Daisy Mae. No, no thank you. I don't need any turnips right now. Thank you very much. However, I do need you to scooch just a tiny bit. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if I'm liking the look of this. Um, however, it might look better. It's mainly this part. This part is kind of bothering me. But I think it definitely will look better once we add in a bunch of plants and flowers through here. I do really like this little transition area though because it's very tucked in, surrounded by these trees, and I think it just gives it that very whimsical feel and that makes me really happy because that's the goal of this little transition is to make it feel as if you're entering a very magical section. So that's good, I think. Okay, so we have a start. I'm not sure if I like it 100% right now. Um, but once we add in all the plants, I think I might like it some more. So there's that little walkway. I think we need to take out some weeds and start filling up this area. I will place one here. This could be a flower. This could be another weed. And over here could be another flower and then a weed here. I don't know though, you guys. I don't know which flowers I should put in here. If I should make this colorful or if I should make this fairly neutral with white flowers. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I also need different bushes. I don't really like this bush right here or this one. I do like these, but I don't like them in season for this island specifically. So I need to find a right time of day where those aren't in bloom, but I actually ordered a ton of wheat fields, so let me go and get those from my mailbox. Okay, here we go. Let me grab all these wheat fields and then we'll head back to the area and kind of fill them in where I think it would block some of that green open patch. But since I'm over here and this is another little transition, let me just work on the pathing from this gate to this bridge. I think I'm gonna go for the dirt again. Um, okay, here's the thing with diagonal bridges though. It's so difficult to 
add pathing into them and make it look natural because you can't place too much pathing right along the edge of this diagonal bridge. So let's see what I can do. Hmm, I, I want it to be a shape where it's like it curves like that to the bridge, but I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish that. <laughs> okay, so I managed to make it connect here, but that the problem is my sapling won't stunt this tree. So I think the only piece that I could erase is this right here and then change this to a long diagonal. And hopefully this won't look too straight. <laughs> I don't know. This is the hard part about doing very cottagecore islands, I feel, and having a lot of pathing mixed with trees. You really only can create skinny walkways if you are willing to save some areas for saplings like that so you can stunt your trees. But um, I think I like that actually. I like this little dirt patch here. I think that's cute. Okay. I like that. So let's put back our fences and our gate. I honestly love this door code so much. It seems so whimsical and perfect for like a secret garden. I love it so much. And it's fun to, I've never used this green variation of the fence. So I really like that and how it matches. Okay, so I've connected this little dirt section. I think it looks really nice. And it's gonna connect to this bridge. Now, I, I just feel the need to put something in this green area. I guess I could put some stones right here. Yeah, that looks nice. And maybe I could do a little seating area with the garden furniture. I think that would be really cute. Okay, that's kind of nice, especially once we add in some more plants in here. Also, this I did accidentally. I, did, I just kind of planted one weed and then used this beach as like a place to store extra vegetables and flowers. And it's actually kind of cute. It matches this little area. So I think I'm going to keep that. They just kind of grew to the maximum state and I like it. So I really think a flower could be used right here. Possibly a pink one. Or actually, I haven't used any yellow yet, so let me go get a yellow Cosmo and we'll put a flower there, probably a bush here, and then another weed here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> also, yes, my museum is on the beach right here. It's definitely not going to stay there. I really want to do a grand entrance for my museum, but I haven't really figured it out yet. I think I might do a statue garden. I really think that would fit the museum and my theme really nicely, so we shall see how that turns out. I'm not exactly sure how I'd go about it yet. Okay, that looks cute, so let me grab some... I know I was going to put some wheat fields back in the other area, but since I'm over here, I kind of wanted to just get this section out of the way. How is this needing five cuz that's a lot in my opinion for that table. Okay, we're gonna take a little pause and go run to Nook's Cranny so I can get some more customization kits. Oh my gosh. It's t this always happens to me. This always happens. <laughs> I love playing early in the morning. Not in real life, but just in game. I love playing between 6 to 7 or 8 a.m. But that also means that Nook's Cranny is never open when I need it to be open. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna not... We're gonna take a little break, I guess, or... So I think we're gonna fill in the time because it's only eight minutes away from the current time of opening. And we're gonna play some wheat fields, like I said I was gonna do a few minutes ago. <laughs> yes, it already looks so, like, whimsical. Okay, let's place a few of these here. And how I usually resolve like this boxy looking design of the wheat field is I'll usually place them in a spot that I know something will be in front of it. So like I mentioned, I'm going to place a flower in this spot so it won't look as boxy, hopefully, <laughs> once a flower is there and it'll just look like really tall grass. And I think that'll be nice. Or like, for example, here, I'm going to place one behind this bush. Oh. 
or not. <laughs> there we go. And it kind of takes away the boxy looking shape of it. So once you surround the wheat fields, I think it's just a lot better. Here we go. I think that looks very, very natural already. I think, how many tiles is this? Let's put one right back here. Because I have one more. Maybe that's a little too much. Maybe I'll put it behind the tree. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. So there's wheat fields everywhere you walk <laughs> through this little area. So now I'm going to need to fill this in with flowers. Um, there'll be a flower here, 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 here. So this is usually how I plan out transition builds, um, if you're interested or curious. This is kind of how I plan them out. So I already used the trees for like height in this section and then I started with the pathing to show where I'd walk and then I kind of spread out from there. So I'm starting with very tall items and the items that kind of define the shape and flow of the area. And it's a little different in this scenario because I'm just kind of filling it up with <laughs> bushes and weeds and flowers but it's kind of the same idea so I as you can see all these holes is where I'm going to place flowers and they sh have a little shape to them especially if you're wanting to go for a very natural theme I think this is very helpful hopefully <laughs> how it kind of follows the shape of the actual path so once you put in the flowers and add in very different breeds of flowers and their styles it'll look very very natural and hopefully very pretty because that's the goal <laughs> um and then we're gonna need one more right there i think and that will be my little sidewalk of flowers maybe i'll put the other one back here to kind of define that little curve shape yeah, that's nice. And of course, we're going to put some more here and here. And right here. <laughs> so let me go get the flowers. I might need to time travel or go to a next day. I'm not really sure because I do want these to be kind of colorful. And I think I've run out of all my pink flowers that I really like. I need to go pick up some more flowers from a treasure island, I think. So I may or may not go and do that we shall see i'm kind of really not in the mood to do that right now <laughs> but i i might have to if i really want to finish this build okay everyone so i have come back this is the next day actually in real life as well i kind of took a little break took a step away from the build because sometimes you just need to do that you know <laughs> get fresh eyes um so i've added the fences here i believe yesterday and then i also started planting all the flowers i went to a few treasure islands and picked some up and i think it's just really forming the area much better now so this section is still kind of empty which we're gonna work on I ended up brainstorming something that I think would be perfect for this area, so I finally know what I'm going to do over here. And then here's the little area filled with flowers, the transition. Um, like I said, I pretty much just added all the flowers and these piles of leaves here just to break up the path a little bit and give it that very skinny look that I was trying to go for yesterday. Um, and I think it looks really great. It's super overgrown, very full. I really like it. And then I kind of added this little ring of weeds here. I think it's just so cute because I don't want to do too much. I just want this to be like a mini clearing. And then we're going to enter into the secret garden through here. So yeah, um, I'm feeling much better today. I feel like yesterday I kind of just got a little stuck. So it's nice to just come back to a build when you're really struggling, like I'd mentioned. So now I'm ready to start building again. I'm really excited i i feel like i have a better vision of how this can turn out so firstly i think what we're going to do in this section is as i mentioned before we're going to make grandmother's garden so i think i'm gonna build her a mini greenhouse right here i actually tested out a few designs of how i could make a greenhouse and what items to use and i'm very very happy with how it turned out so i'm gonna fit that in in that little corner probably add some pathing right here and then make a little 
patch of dirt and either have some vegetables or flowers growing right here. And then possibly I might want to build out a fence that goes along here because I don't want to add any more cliff. I feel like that'll just take up too much space for the actual secret garden. So I think I might just add some tall fence here and then hopefully block it with some kind of other items and details. So yeah, let's just get started on this. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start laying out some dirt that can go under the greenhouse. Or maybe I should start with the dirt patch, actually. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I really love this mini waterfall right here, so I don't want to cover it up too much. Um, so what I'm going to do is this. Probably just like a three wide dirt patch garden? Vegetable garden? Is there another adjective for garden? Because I feel like I'm going to say that a ton in this Let's Play, so... I don't mean to, but I, I feel like there's no other word to describe a garden, but besides garden, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a little patch there, and then I'm going to outline a little dirt patch right here, I think. Or should I do the stone? I feel like the stone could be very pretty. Also, okay, hold on. Maybe I should map out actually how big this greenhouse is going to be. So pretty much the greenhouse is going to consist of a gazebo and two storefronts or yeah, I believe two storefronts. I'm not really sure what color scheme I want to go for. Maybe white? Two storefronts and some simple panels. The gazebo is a little off-centered. I was hoping it could go closer to the cliff so I might have to push it forward and then over like that. So you'll walk up here and then you'll see the little greenhouse. Oh, I think that's going to be so cute. <laughs> okay, uh, let me go and look at my image of what I took of this build so I remember how to do it. <laughs> here we go. This is what I built a little while ago. I think it turned out so cute. Also, there's Shep and Poppy. <laughs> There's, they were just hanging out in the area here, but this is kind of the concept of the greenhouse. So I just used two storefronts, the gazebo, the flower display case, and some simple panels. I think it's a really, really fun design, honestly. I remember when people were obsessed with building greenhouses early in the game and we didn't have as many items. So I think I managed to make a pretty fun 2.0 version. So this is kind of the idea of what we're going to do. Okay, this might come out a little bigger than I was hoping it would, just because it is a lot of layering. So the one thing I forgot was the flower display case, so let me get that out. So we're going to place that in this little spot in front of the gazebo, push it back a little bit, and then we're going to put the storefront on the side. See, yeah, that's coming out a little further than I was wanting. Mm, or actually, no, no, I think it's meant to be that way. So then it has like a little indent as if you could walk into the greenhouse. And then the two doors will go there. And then we'll have some fencing here and here. I wonder what's the view from back here? Can you even see it back here? You get a little glimpse of it. That's kind of cute. Yes, okay, I think this is what we're gonna do. I think that's gonna be really, really cute. And then you can wind on through here, leave her garden into the secret garden. Okay, you guys, sometimes you have a one vision, in, or at least this happens to me a lot. I have a very distinct idea of how I want an island theme to turn out or a build, but once you get into the actual game and start placing items, it tends to be a little more difficult at least for me, so um, I'm really glad that this is fitting in. I feel like it's even kind of turning out better than <laughs> what I envisioned. It's so cute! Alright, so let me see if I already customized those simple panels. I don't believe I have. Or maybe I should use the white ones. I wonder if I should find a pattern that kind of matches the white instead of that dark brown. Either way, I think it would look nice, but I'd prefer everything to kind of match. I forgot to customize that simple panel for this. Let me see what this looks like. Um, 
instead of the more fancy looking door. I'm curious to see how that could look. Okay, that's another option. I feel like this is a very sleek looking um, greenhouse style. If this was white, I think I would like it much, much better. But I don't know if that's the look I want to go for. It's, a it's actually really cute though. Um, let me see. Let me place the fencing here first. And then I will decide what I want to keep. That's actually pretty cute. I don't know. Maybe I should look for some more designs to replace the ones I have. But let me see if this creator has a white version of this door because I think that would be really nice. Okay, you guys, this worked out so perfectly. So they do have a white version of this greenhouse screen so i think i'm going to save over the browner color also there's the ma code at the bottom if you guys want to use these codes but i'm so glad they made different colors for each simple panel okay there we go so that's what it looks like with a white variation that's kind of pretty but i was hoping for a slightly more elegant look for the doors but i don't know if i'm going to find that in a white version but I will just use this for now. Maybe we'll go shopping for or searching for other designs that I could use for these doors. Um, oh, I keep putting this too far in the middle. There we go. But you know that works. That works if you really like a white version. Also, I think you're able to place items on top of this. So I think that could be fun too. But I kind of like just the little dome rooftop. That's actually really pretty. If I could just find a code that looks like this, but in a white version. Let me see though if I can find this code again and hopefully they have a white version. Hi everyone, so this is voiceover Tasia. Um, that's because past me kind of took a break and ate some lunch and I ended up eating something spicy and I was already talking for a little bit so I started to kind of lose my voice. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess eating something spicy just really messed my voice up. But anyways, I'm just gonna pop in and do a little voiceover every now and then. I do come back in and talk once my voice starts to like feel a little better and it starts coming back. But for now, we're doing a voiceover. And now what I'm trying to really focus on is the pathway and really filling out this front area of the garden. And I decided to also sprinkle in some weeds and fencing just to really tie in all the details that I have been using throughout the island so far. And I'm just really debating on what I should do and fill out this garden with. So I considered doing some flowers in that little dirt patch. And then I also tried using the flower beds as well and I then started to work on this cluster of items which I think ended up turning out kind of cute but yeah I'm gonna hand it back over to past me in a few seconds. There we go okay I think this is super cute it just really is trial and error when it comes to placing some items in a filler spot but I kind of like this setup so far. It feels very much like a garden, I think. All of the tools because of the tool shed and the greenhouse. I think this is super cute. So then after a little more trial and error between items, I then added in other little details around this garden. Um, and here's a little view of what it looks like overall. And so with all that figured out, this is kind of the overall finished product of the greenhouse and what's in here. You know, I'm still, even watching this back right now, am a little unsure of how I feel about it. I might go back in and change some things, because that's what I typically do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I kind of just decided to leave it as is and move on to the next part of the build. But also, you guys, I need your opinion on how I should go about creating the secret garden for this theme. I'm kind of on the fence about making it more natural and very similar to how I've been building in the front. Or if I should go for more of a structured kind of style and make it a little bit elegant core. I would love to incorporate both, but I feel like it might become a little chaotic or too much if I do both. Unless I do a few elegant builds and then make the transitions very natural and full like we've done right here. Let me know what you think. 
it's just I don't know if this is giving me secret garden style right here it's very pretty I think and full of flowers but it's not my initial vision for the actual secret garden I'm envisioning a lot of like large flower fields and statue gardens and elegant buildings and water that's kind of what I'm envisioning for the secret garden and possibly like a hedge maze I'm not really sure but I mean probably by the time this let's play gets released I will have already done a build or two in the secret garden so we'll see what I end up doing I don't know we shall see <laughs> So here I am starting to plant in some of the flowers and as past me had mentioned I was kind of struggling and a little nervous about starting the secret garden. Um, rest assured I have actually started quite a few builds in that area already at the time I'm recording this voiceover. So everything kind of worked out in the end but um, I could always still use some of your guys' advice and ideas if you have any. I feel like I have started to manage to blend the very flower, overgrown garden style mixed with the very elegant and structured kind of builds. So it's all trial and error right now. Um, it takes me quite a few builds to really get the idea of how I want an island theme to turn out and since this is a whole separate part of the island it's like kind of just restarting all over again. But after I kind of filled out all the flowers then I started moving on to the secret garden entrance and for this I wanted to do like a very overgrown hedge wall. I wanted it to feel very full like you're walking through a very overgrown wall so I started laying down this green path along this terraforming that I have here and I found these amazing amazing hedge designs that I absolutely love. I really hope I use them a lot in the secret garden. Um, but also I placed a little gnome in front of that tree there. It's almost as if he's like guarding the secret entrance. So, and he's also kind of just referencing that there's magic starting to happen in this part of the island. I just think the gnomes are very whimsical and I really, really want to use them throughout this island because I don't know, I feel like back in 2020, everyone was using the gnomes, and now people have kind of just stopped using them on their islands, but I think they deserve all the love, so hopefully I'll be spreading them out through the secret garden part. But here's the hedge wall design that I had found, and it's just amazing. I love it so much. I just wish that there were simple panels that had a green rim so it blends in better with the code. But even better, how great would it be if we had like an actual hedge wall item in game? That would be amazing. Like just as tall as the cliffs, it's equal to the cliff height. And it pretty much looks like this design, but you wouldn't have to use simple panels. It's like an actual hedge wall and you could stack them along like you do with simple panels. I think that would be so good and really could be used in many different themes. It would be amazing. I totally wish that we had that. So hopefully in the next game, they might consider more garden themed items or just walls in general, different variety of walls that would be incredible so i don't know but for now this is gonna have to do so i start adding in the simple panels with this design along the rim and it really just blends in and hides that tan color cliff behind the trees and after i do that i come up on top of the cliffs since we don't have an actual hedge wall in game that means that i have to line this top cliff with some of the bush fencing just to blend from the simple panel up to the top of that cliff which I think it still looks really cute. I actually really like this look. And again, just imagine a hedge wall that's like, looks exactly like the bush fencing, but it goes all the way to the bottom of the simple panel. I think that would be so, so amazing. So now I'm gonna move on to deciding where all my trees are gonna go because the trees are just gonna add another layer of green and foliage that you have to walk through. So then I head over to Nook's Cranny and buy some tree saplings and then I start planting them in all the places that I already planned out. So after time traveling a day, it's very golden right now. So what I'm gonna do next is start placing this very pretty path down along this walkway. It just gives off very whimsical vibes and very garden type vibes. So I think it's so pretty and it's just perfect. 
I really, like I mentioned in past videos, want this section of the island to be different from the front. So this is kind of just introducing the magic, the whimsy, the gardens, and I just think it's a really great path to use. Even if you may or may not see it at the end, it's just still really nice to have that differentiation. And next, on either side between the trees and the cliffs, I place more of that green path down because I'm going to be placing some pergolas in between the trees here. And I'm going to be doing this because it just fills in more space without having to use trees and worry about them not being planted <laughs> because they're too close to each other. But also because I thought it would be very pretty to have some flowers along this walkway as well. So here I am starting to place in the pergolas and they just do everything that I was hoping they would do. It's so pretty. It really fills in this area as well and just makes it more structured and it kind of hides the ground really well. So it's just super thick and I don't think you can really walk through there either, which is great. I just want you to be able to walk straight ahead through the trees and enter the first part of the gardens. So this is when it starts to all kind of come together. I started placing these ruined pillars right in front of these trees and this is going to be my actual entrance. So I found these very beautiful door codes and they just kind of remind me of like a castle kind of door and almost gives off that vibe of it like it's forbidden to walk through these doors <laughs> and these are typically locked so what I'm gonna do is to still give that illusion that these doors are closed. I'm going to kind of just shift one a little backwards behind the other one so you can still wiggle your way through the doors but when you stand right in front of them it looks like they're still closed so that's kind of how I accomplished this look you are gonna have to squeeze on through to get through the gardens but I think it's worth it I love how this turned out now we can't just have the doors be sitting there all by themselves along the hedge walls so I end up placing a ruined arch right in front of them and in between the trees and it just gives it that more overgrown kind of look and then I start messing with the distance between the doors and the arch because again I want you to be able to still squeeze through here but still give the illusion that the doors are closed. And I just think this is looking so whimsical and magical already and I just am so excited. So something that I don't really mention in this video is that the circle of weeds that I've placed around here don't really grow to a full state. I think I've hit my max number of overgrown weeds already just in the front of the island so that's kind of unfortunate. I really wish they were overgrown and tall because I think that would just really make this all come together. So I think in the future I'm gonna have to figure out something to do here with this circle um, but for now it'll do. I'm not too concerned about it but I'm just really pleased and happy with how this walkway is turning out. And so you guys, this is kind of where I ended the Let's Play. Um, apologies that this wasn't a full Let's Play. I did have to come in and do a voiceover towards the end. I just really was losing my voice and I'd rather this be clear and you can understand me <laughs> than me struggling to talk. So yes, um, this is pretty much the secret garden entrance. I, as always, will probably add some things when I find different items or if I decide something's not working. But for now, this is what I have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this was also the entrance to the grandmother's garden as well. And I'm just so excited to start showing you guys the secret garden part. I know I've talked about it so many times. I've kind of been teasing it, but I promise we'll get into that sometime this week because we have a full week of videos left to do. So you're going to see it somewhere within this week. And I can't wait to share it with you all. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play today. Definitely stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you are up to date on all the videos that I will be posting this week and also make sure your notifications are on so you know when the videos are live and speaking of live I do plan to live stream at the end of this week so definitely stay tuned for that I'm super excited and from the poll that I posted a little while ago it seems like you guys would really prefer me to do a restarting stream and there will be probably be a villager hunt as well because I have to find some villagers for my new island. And I have another island that I have started on my second switch, um, but I don't think I'm going to finish it unfortunately. So I will kind of show you guys what I've done so far on that island and it's just been a secret. I haven't mentioned it to you guys or shown you on camera. So yeah, 
if you're interested and intrigued to see what that island is and what the new theme is going to be and restarting, definitely come by for the live stream. I think it'll be really fun. So with that, everyone, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day or night, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye!